And we're back, Mike Cernrich from Danger and Play, Grow a Mindset. Today, I'm going to talk about gratitude journals. I was going to entitle this video, Why Gratitude Journals Are for Fucking Pussies, but I figured that would piss people off. And I don't want to troll, I don't want to troll you guys because I know a lot of you keep them, and I think that they're, um, they're a good first step, but I'm going to tell you why I don't really, I don't keep one myself and why I I think that they only have limited value, and here's why. <clears throat> All right. What is mindset? Mindset is what you do. Even though it's about mindset and includes mind, you are what you do. The mindset gives you the tools you need to do what you want to do, but if you don't do it, then you don't change your mindset. So if you say, okay, you know, I believe in myself, and you go to Tony Robbins and like, yeah, I believe in myself, yes. Maybe you feel like, Get those emotions washed over you. I grew up in the church. I've been to great Pentecostal churches. You know, I've watched people shaking. You know, I've done it all. Maybe, maybe I'll do a, a podcast on all the churches I've been to. But you know what happens to those people, right? They go to church, Jesus! I love Jesus! Oh my God! And they're crying and yeah, everybody's hugging. And then they go home and the fucking same motherfuckers they ever were, right? They don't change. They don't change. There's even a term for a lot of the girls, and I guess to be fair, you should call it the guys, but you know, they're Sunday morning they go for redemption for the slutting it out, right? They're a little church girl on Sunday, but they're a little slut every other day, and you know, guys are the same way, fucking assholes, taking advantage of people, but you go to church. You rip people off in business all week, but you go to church, you feel real good. And that's kinda like it's kinda like what a gratitude journal is. It's kinda like what most self help literature is. You read it and you feel good, primarily you feel good about yourself because isn't ultimately that's what, that's what the real money is in, right? Make people feel good about themselves. Don't challenge them. Validate everything they say. Namaste, right? Oh, oh peace. Namaste. You know, you, you always see the yoga people do it. I was in Boulder, Colorado, and I couldn't believe it. I was at lunch and there's these fucking, fucking weirdos, you know, the Boulder, Colorado hipster types and Namaste after lunch. People are these people are pieces of shit, you know. Those people are always the biggest pieces of shit because they wear their religion on their sleeves, same as, same as other people. All right, it's kind of hard to comb your hair. The camera camera's backwards. All right. Because anyway, gratitude journal. We won't say they suck, but they're a start. Because if all you do is think, well, I'm gratitude, but you don't take action, then you're not a grateful person, right? A grateful person expresses his gratitude to other people. So if you write a gratitude journal and you say, I'm grateful that I have money. Okay. Then why don't you go out and give a little bit of that away? Why don't you spread a little bit? Well, I'm grateful that I have my health. Okay, why don't you share that health with everyone else? Well, I'm grateful. I okay, well, if you really believed it, if you were really grateful, you would want to express that feeling, that sentiment to other people. So if you say, I'm grateful for... Certain people, well, why don't you tell the people? So that's what I would say. Instead of keeping a gratitude journal, or if you do keep a gratitude journal, supplement. Now, the only rule of this is you can't say thank you to me. Because <laughs> wouldn't that be a great way to, uh, to do YouTube comments, right? I want you to, guys, instead of keeping an ad, a gratitude journal, I want you to express your gratitude to someone who's helped you. Post your comment below on who you're grateful for. Oh, Mike, you know, thanks for this video. No, don't don't tell me who you're going to do it to. Don't thank me. Don't email me. Don't post a comment. That, that, that's not the exercise. Write a letter to a person that you're grateful for. I've done this many times. People out of the blue, people I haven't talked to for years. I wrote a letter once to a high school English teacher. Written a letter all kinds of... this. And by letters, I mean back when I used to do this stuff more diligently, I would write letters to people and actually find their addresses, which wasn't always easy, and I would put a stamp on it and, and actually mail it. So it's actually kind of hard, but when you do that, that's how you become a generous person. That's how you become a person who has gratitude. Send an email to somebody who's, who's touched you. Could be anybody. I've sent emails to authors. If I read a book and I like it, you know, if I can reach out on Twitter, I do, or I'll, you know, write a review, or I'll write a post, or I'll send them an email, but I always express it, because what you think is nothing. What you do is everything. It's a little overstated with things. What you think is something. 
what you do is something else. Because if you think, well, I'm a grateful person, and you actually think that I have gratitude for life, but that doesn't manifest itself in any way, are you really a grateful person? Are you a mental masturbator? You know, that's why a lot of people who, a lot of people in the self-help, they're fucking, they're just a mess. You know, a lot of people who do gratitude journals are just, they're missing it, right? They're like, well, I do this stuff, you know, I express gratitude to the universe. I read the secret of the law of attraction. I meditate on what I want. You know? Yeah, but you got to, you got to do, right? It's not just enough to write a journal out, which is very self-indulgent about what you're grateful for. You have to be less self-indulgent. You have to be less in your head. You have to reach out to people because if you're not connecting with people, if you're not connecting with the universe, if you're not connecting with animals, humanity, society, then you're always going to be a mess because men, women, nobody is meant to be alone. As Aristotle said, man is a social animal. But that's what happens. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm so grateful for what I have. I'm grateful for my friends. Well, have you told your friends? When's the last time you told a friend, you know, I remember that time you had my back in this situation and it was really cool. Or, you know, I remember the time you could be anything, right? I remember the time you bailed me out of jail or it could be the time you picked me up and my car broke down. It could, again, it doesn't, it can be large or small, but when is the last time you've reached out to people to tell them? Well, don't you think you should do that instead of just keep it a fucking journal and then wondering why you're not fulfilled, wondering what's missing? Well, it's because you're, you're up inside your own head all the time. You're not reaching out and you're connecting with people. So, gratitude journals are not for pussies. That's just how I would troll people if I were trolling, you know, the new age people. But if all you're doing is taking, keeping a gratitude journal, it's self-indulgent. It's missing the point. It's a good mindset to have. There's a book, I think, called The Attitude of Gratitude, which is a catchy title. Never read it, but I've heard people say an attitude of gratitude. Well, it's great to have that attitude, but if you're not actually reaching out and you're not expressing that towards other people... Do you really have that attitude or is it just more mental masturbation? That's what I want you to do. That's the Gorilla Mindset Gratitude homework assignment for the day. Send an email to somebody. Send a tweet to somebody. Not me, though. I swear to God, this isn't like subtle. You know, even if you're like, well, Mike said no, but I'm doing it. Please don't. Reach out to somebody in your life that you know in real life, preferably. If you don't know anybody from real life, internet people. Reach out and just say, you did X for me. I am really grateful for that and it helped change my life. Because at this point, I was da 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 da. Could be long, could be short. The idea is just reach out to somebody. Let them know that you actually care. That's how you develop true gratitude. That's how you live gratitude. And that's how you develop an attitude of gratitude. And what do you also develop? An attitude and a mindset of abundance. Because if you think, well, I'm really grateful for people. And you share that gratitude with other people, that's going to make your world bigger, right? And that also shows that you have you have something to share. Because people who are shut in, they're scarcity mindset people. I can't reach out and talk to anybody. They might say no. They might reject me. They might think it's weird. Uh, they might think I'm fucking gay and hitting on them. Or, you know, I don't know. that Maybe they don't like me anymore. They haven't heard from them. It's weird. How do you email a person that you haven't talked to? Fuck, what do I do? You know, that's all scarcity. I just think I have a lot to give. And maybe I'm delusional, but I think, you know, I think when I, if I reach out to somebody that I haven't heard from in years and, and tell them something nice, I think I'm going to make that person's day. Maybe that's delusional, but that's where that abundance mindset comes in. I, I think instead of, well, that'll be awkward, that'll be weird, I think, boy, you know, and it's happened to me too. I've had people reach out to me at random and it's made me feel good. I've never had somebody reach out to me and say, you know, Mike, I remember this and that and I just want to say thank you. I remember being like, oh, fucking faggot, you know? What kind of faggot fucking sends an email like that, you know? That's not what people are going to think. People are like, well, wow, that's, that's really nice, you know? Maybe the person will even reply and you'll build back the relationship. But you have, to, you have to have the abundance mindset. You have to live it. You can't just think it. So that's what I want you to do. Send a fucking, send a letter, send an email, make a phone call. Preferably the person you know in real life. But if it's somebody who wrote a book you like, let the author know. Let them know on Twitter or Facebook or email or wherever. But reach out. Express your gratitude for someone. That's how you develop a true attitude of gratitude. A true, gracious, and grateful mindset. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. If you're new here, Mike Cernovich, Danger and Play, World of Mindset. Reach out and touch someone. Talk to you tomorrow.